Okay, don't late show man, everybody. You got a hit for yourself there, baby. You got to figure out a way to do it. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, oh, we got a hot one for you tonight, that's ladies right, and gentlemen. Right. Tonight, besides the talent you see on this stage over there and wow. here, and and we've got, uh, we're brimming with talented women this evening mm -hmm. because in just a few minutes, we're going to have, uh, we're brimming with women. We're going to have <laughs> a, a star of the new movie Mean Girls and a international pop star in her own right, Renee Rapp, will be out here in just a little while. And, and then, but before that, the one, the only, uh, really, a, 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 the, the fulcrum around which the movie Bi Barbie turns, America Ferrera will be out here. Yeah. 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 Folks, I am constantly amazed by the marvels of modern technology. It's allowed us to put a man on the moon, communicate wirelessly across the globe, and make Cheetos without the use of food. And I'd like to tell you all about the latest digital developments in my tech segment, Cyborgasm. <laughs> you did your best. You did your damn best. <laughs> First up, an AI chatbot will take your order at more Wendy's drive throughs which is great news. Because human drive through attendants ask a lot of annoying questions like, do you really need a separate Frosty just for dipping? And are you okay? You've been here a lot since Brenda left. <laughs> Next up, we are now engaged in the age of AI-powered dating apps, which is great news for anyone who wished they could swipe right on AI Will Smith eating spaghetti. <laughs> Now, still hot. Still hot. Hot AI dating sites include Riz.app and YourMove.ai, which allow users to upload words or screenshots, then produce a witty AI-generated response, which clients can use to create their own dating app profile or respond to somebody else's. That is cheating. In my day, you had to come up with your own answers. A girl would say, how are you? Then you'd sweat profusely and explain the difference between orcs in Mordor and the orcs in Moria. It gets better. It's, it's gonna get better. If you want a more involved AI experience, teaser.ai lets users select personality traits for their own AI bot by asking questions like, are you introverted or extroverted, aggressive or peaceful, while other personality options include traditional, toxic, and unhinged. It takes real self-awareness to admit that your personality type is unhinged. <laughs> oh, my favorite pastimes? Oh, gosh, I'm so boring. Hiking, reading, stripping naked, and setting fire to a hospital. <laughs> Next up, we here at Cyborgasm Incorporated sometimes come across so many robotic arm stories that we collect them in my Cyborgasm subsegment, Cybarmgarmism. First up inside Barm Garmsen. <laughs> Neuroengineers in Switzerland have successfully developed and tested a design for a robotic third arm that's controlled by your diaphragm. Um, have these scientists even considered the terrible impact this will have on the hokey pokey? <laughs> you put your diaphragm controlled third hand in, you take your diaphragm controlled third hand out, you put your, oh God, it's strangling the birthday clown and turn them all around. And that's what it's all about. <laughs> next up, next up on Cybarm Garden, researchers have developed a soft robotic tentacle complete with suckers that can be operated remotely and they say could use the arm for investigating the gastrointestinal tract. Because the most comforting words you can hear as you're going under for your colonoscopy are, nurse, energize the tentacle. <laughs> Next up, sorry. Sorry. Next up, Agility Robotics, a Silicon Valley firm, recently showed off its humanoid robot, Digit, to investors and the press. But due to safety regulations, humans had to stay six feet away. 
always a sure sign that there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> okay, everybody, Digit's about to perform a few routine tasks that hopefully won't include ripping off anyone's skin and wearing their face. So don't show fear. Digit senses fear, okay? Oh, God, I tripped in the face off the birthday clown. The poor thing just got out of the hospital. <laughs> Next up, last month saw the debut of a new magnetic surgical robot that allows surgeons to attach a small magnet to organs like the liver and use robotic arms with high-powered magnets on the patient's belly to manipulate organs out of the way. Surgeons hope it'll also allow them to perform groundbreaking new procedures in hair replacement. <laughs> now, the makers of the robot also tout the machine's power to allow more surgeries to be done per day, which, of course, is in keeping with the Hippocratic Oath First, do no harm. Second, let's crank out those hip replacements. Daddy needs a new boat. We'll be right back with America Ferrera.